the link later so i'm going to record this and uh, let me see are you recording too i'm not sure if you could uh, record that but don't worry i'm doing this for yeah. you so i can also record on zoom yeah okay uh recording to cloud okay how recording in progress <laughs> that's well set so we're going to uh, just use water to to do some uh, yeah. uh, some stroke practice on on the uh, magic class. Yeah. Okay. So you you don't need any ink to start with, and I know you are a um, oil painter, so I have oil brushes too, uh, yeah. or acrylic brush. But um, my my point, uh, I try to make uh, for for this. Uh, uh, lesson is that uh, uh, the tools is yeah. one thing you have to get the right brush uh, mm. otherwise you will spend more time uh, to get the same result okay um, but uh, that's that's uh, hold on a second yeah this is all the Chinese brushes are fine but I I just want to show you that yeah. I can do uh, everything with uh, your brush uh, your kind of oh, brush. I see, I see, okay. Yeah, the, po the point is yeah. how you hold it and how you use it. Yeah. The, the gesture strokes, instead yeah. of uh, just uh, like uh, putting hands like this, uh, we yeah. have lots of uh, different movement, the hand, the wrist, yeah. and how you yeah. hold the brush is more yeah. important. So you can use the Chinese brush, I use your brush, and uh, yeah. this way we can, uh, you can see uh, how it works. Yeah. So the idea behind uh, the yeah. brush work. So, uh, and I take similar brush. I must get it actually. I don't. Uh, no, no. You just use a uh, regular, regular brush. Okay. I, you know, any. Uh, I would, I would use the uh, soft and uh, stiff mix brush. It has yeah. the brown inside. That that would yeah. be good on this because uh, uh, you only use water and the. You don't want to use dry brush, so it's relatively. Yeah. Uh, let, let me just show you one. Can you remove this? Uh, this meeting is being recorded. That uh, that yeah. also is speaking. I'm not able to. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can follow for follow me. Uh, no, no, I I hold. I I, I show you how to hold the brush first. Okay. No, no, the, I'm, I'm only asking you to remove this meeting is being recorded by the holes, but the sticker is still coming in front of my screen. Uh, I can get your request. You know, there is a, uh, there is a small little uh, pop-up which has come. This meeting is being recorded. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm recording it for you. Yeah. But uh, that is covering you the way of my vision to see you completely. Oh, uh, you mean this uh, button covers the view? Oh, you can just uh, get, uh, close that window. I, I, I see what you. It. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just just the uh, just the click on the X or somewhere close the window. Yeah. It doesn't close. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, uh, um, let me see how we do that. I can stop recording, but uh, it, it it's just a window. You you have to close it. Do you have a mouse? Uh, one minute. I think maybe I am trying one minute. I cannot see your screen, but I know I what it. There's a pop-up window on blocking your view, right? It says. I, I know. I got it. I got it. Usually, on the upper right corner, there's a there's a uh, like an X or something. You can you can close it. Do you are you using a computer or a, a no, iPad? Not my computer is my my daughter's computer. But one minute, I, I think I figured it out. Yeah, just cross. Uh, just no, it's okay. I can manage them because no, 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 no. You, it, that blocks your view. It's not good. I know. There's a there's a pop up window. You need to close that window. I can stop recording. Uh, no, 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 for no, now. Yeah, no, yeah, I got it too. Can you see it? Can, can yeah, you see my no, hand? No, no, can, it's not there. Can you see? Can you see my hand? My brush? I can see. Okay. But overall, light is somewhat. I don't know whether. This is a new computer for me. Okay, okay. Let's just uh, stop recording. I don't, I don't need to recording. Uh, but I wanted the uh, anyway. Okay, let me just uh, stop. Uh, yes. Recording stopped. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see. You. Okay, we don't, we don't need that recording. I have a, a recording on YouTube directly. Okay. Don't, don't worry about that. 
sorry. So this uh, this is the way we hold the brush. Yeah. Uh, you 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 can try this uh, with me. So yeah. you 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 use your thumb and your index finger to to um, clip the brush clip the brush like this. Yeah. yeah. Like this from top yeah. view from side right. view, and then your middle finger. Yeah. Pull the brush inside, in, inward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then your ring finger mm. uh, resists that from from inside, so it, it balances that. So your four fingers, and the, the small finger help the ring finger, like this, like this. Okay. 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 Yeah. If you look at the, the top, my my um, this area, my thumb and the Index finger uh, is is hollow, so it's not like this. Somebody will do that. It's called yeah. phoenix eye. I, I yeah. the typical way is the the dragon eye. The dragon yeah. eye, uh, the in the center of your palm, you can hold yeah. a little ball, a uh, ping pong or or egg. Uh -huh. So this way you can draw a, a anzo or a circle. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to use the reverse photograph because I used my iPad, you know, that's the problem. <laughs> Maybe I should get it. Uh, I can turn it around, actually. Okay, so around. yeah, you're watching me, not uh, you, right? Let me just... Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I want to see whether I'm looking, I'm doing it correctly for you. That's right. Oh, I can see you. I can see. I can see okay. you. Am I right? Uh, your, your, your small finger is in the front. That's wrong. The, that's... Uh, Okay, the, the the small finger and the ring finger is behind. It's inside. Oh, only right. only two. Only this. Okay, you can you can use only three. Basically, yeah. you can use this three. Yeah. This is three uh, fingers. I, yes, the, the, I roll it actually. Yeah, because I try to twist the brush yeah. like this. So you can twist it. Okay, you yeah. hold the brush more like this. That's not. Um, very ideal because uh, you want to hold the brush almost like a ninety degree. Yeah. Uh, the the index finger is uh, to um, is horizontal and uh, the the brush uh, handle is pointing up straight yeah. like that. And yeah. then um, uh, some yeah. some yeah. artists yeah some artists hold the brush like a very high like this. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I think you can hold uh, depends on the stroke. The yeah. longer the stroke, you, the higher yeah. you should hold, and the smaller yeah. the brush you hold, the you know, lower. Um, yeah. the, the advantage of doing this is like when the brush is um, bended like this. Okay, it mm -hmm. might bend like that, and you can mm -hmm. you can twist the brush and shift the side. So next mm -hmm. stroke, and mm -hmm. the next one. So it, mm -hmm. you can use these fingers to twist it. Like a, yeah. uh, when I load the brush, you can see this. Uh, let me see. I got it here. Okay. Okay. Suppose this is a palette. Okay, and then uh, the water is ink. So you you use your you hold the brush like that. Yeah. Uh, at a slanty position, uh, yeah. and then. You do, you, you, you use your thumb to roll the brush back and forth while you pull the brush from right to left. Oh. Like that, like that. Back and forth, this, this way, back and forth. And then uh, squeeze out some extra yeah. in the, so give a little press. So this yeah. will squeeze out the extra moisture or the ink. You can see oh. some ink coming out. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the, and then at the edge of the the palette, yeah. you, you do this. Okay, so you squeeze out extra like back and forth like this. You see my hand movement back, just like several times. Why you pull this way, this way? Okay, so this is how you make the brush pointed. Yeah. You, uh, in in any case, you want to completely wet the brush or soak the brush. Otherwise, till, 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 till the end of the week. yeah, all the way to the end, it's all wet. Because yeah. if not wet, if you only wet the uh, the front, the, the point, it will not uh, uh, form a nice shape. 
So yeah. this is very important. So and then you squeeze out the extra moisture like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this. Okay, and then um, I just put it here, and then now you are ready to to go. So yeah. in the beginning, I want to write this uh, calligraphy uh, yeah. for the bamboo. On the yeah. can you see the on my screen here? I, 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 okay, this is your practice, right? Uh, let me put that down. And yeah. we, we are doing this practice. Okay, this one. Okay, I mean, okay. Uh, you, you can see, can you see the the sample? Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yes, I, I, I just put it here, here, right here. So. <laughs> That's uh, uh, let's assume that uh, we have a a grid. You know, we, we I know you have a plan as I have here, but on some yeah. some magic cost, you you can get it later. There is yeah. a there is a grid like this, just yeah. like a, like this. Yes, I have a plot here. Yeah. You you have something like this, like like a grid, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that that's the that's the space. Um, we, we try to fit, okay, and then uh, so roughly the the first stroke is like that, and then mm -hmm. second stroke. This is the character for bamboo. It reads a zhu or bamboo, bamboo. Yeah. So how two dash, and then one long stroke. Like that. Yeah. You, and may I ask you a question? Yes. If I look at the picture, the calligraphy, it's a calligraphy, right, on the top? Yeah. If I see that, on the top, I can understand that this, uh, there, is a, there is a beginning, there is an end, you know? So, when you make the first story... Okay, yeah. Let me, let me explain that. That's it, actually, if you really see. Yeah, that is a very uh, important question. So yeah. I, I write it bigger for you. The first stroke, you just uh, try this stroke. So in, in, the, in, in the first stroke, let me just write the shape of it yeah. first. So this is the shape we try to create. In, how do you create? This is like a bamboo leaf. Okay, the, yeah. I see I, on your painting, you have problem to begin the stroke. We call this a nail head. Nail head, right? Yeah, a nail head. Yeah. Nail head is like this. You you just simply dot. Can you yeah. dot it like that? You yeah. um, the point is if you expose the tip like this, yeah. you will have a sharp tip. Sometimes it's good uh, for yeah. painting, but for calligraphy, they tuck in the sh yeah. so you have a like a a quick um, upward movement. To the left, uh, to the left side, and then mm -hmm. you you put you, you, you kind of tuck in. So there's a little little like a little little thing like this. You see yeah. a, a little nine or something uh, or six uh, upside down six. Mm -hmm. That that movement uh, in some of the some of the guide the stroke guide. If you can buy a stroke guide uh, template, it, it has mm -hmm. like a little circle thing. So that okay. indicates. You should always uh, keep the the brush tip in the center of the stroke. So in the beginning, it's in the yeah. You, you, can you try to just uh, give a dot, like uh, hide the tip, and then mm -hmm. you change direction to the mm -hmm. to to the left, and mm -hmm. keep the keep the the brush tip in the middle of the stroke all the way, and then lift it like that. So you got this, this is slant, this is slant, yeah. yeah. Okay. You try it, do you want to try it? If I could see your, your hand, I can help you more, but um, if you want to practice later, that's fine. So uh, we have two slant uh, in this, in this uh, calligraphy character. Uh, they are slightly different in length, but the same angle. So if I, uh, the sequence to write, it's very important. Just like we paint a bamboo, we follow a sequence, which is from left to right, and from yeah. top down. Okay, let me follow the, I'll show you this rule. So there are two parts of the, um, two radicals, we call it radicals. Oh, radicals? A radical is like a half of it, right? This, okay. is a, this is one, and this is a 
<laughs> this is two. <laughs> Excuse me. So we always do the left side first. Uh, in, in painting, we can have overlapping, but not in calligraphy. In calligraphy, you make room for each other. So you might shorten this stroke. Okay, uh, let me let me show you. Let me write in in um, uh, the practical way. Okay, you can. I, I think I make a mistake already. So one, two. This this is the third stroke, and then this is the fourth stroke. Okay. Sorry about that. And uh, 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 I made this is a, more uh, of a pictograph, more like a bamboo leaf, and this is more um, standardized into a. Uh, sometimes we have a hook on, on the end. This is a difficult one, but I will show you how to do that later. But you can yeah. just uh, simply put. Uh, there is a hook like the tip, right? Yeah, that that's a that's a style. That's a yeah. that's a style for print. Uh, I can show you uh, a different model. Okay, yeah. uh, let me show you a different model here. But when you when you paint a bamboo, you don't make the tip, right? Hold on. Let me. Um, then where's my? Uh, uh, okay. Hook. Okay, you can see another sample on the corner right here. Uh, I changed the, the picture um, to this one, yeah. so you can see so the difference. The new one that you are sent now, you are showing show now. Uh -huh. uh, one question, Henry. The second one from the top when it comes down, there's a bit of a small little hook. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hook here. Yeah. Uh, that is the calligraphy part, but does it come in the bamboo also? No, 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 no. Um, the bamboo, we, we may have it. Let me let me let me show you. We we may have it. Uh, it's in a different direction, but uh, it's similar to to this. And we we go we, we go like that. See? Yeah. See, that's the that's similar to a hook. Yeah. The, the, this part. Uh, see this this joint, and this this joint has a little side. Kick. Oh, I yeah. See that 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 that's that, you can consider that as a hook. Yeah, a, ho a that's hook. Like a knot at the, at the junction for two parts. Um, you usually on on the lower part. So because yeah. you always begin the brush like a like a nail head. Not, yeah. Which is uh, uh, you okay? Technical term for that is a tip concealed. Tip uh -huh. concealed. Concealed. Conce concealed. Right. Tip concealed, tip concealed stroke is uh, also called a bone stroke. B o r uh, b o a e, bone like a dark bone, like a bone, like this. You, you see, tip concealed. You a tip exposed, like that. Japanese uh, tend to do this, Chinese this. You understand? I understand. Um, uh, but there is yet another question. The sequence is very important, right? In this. Yeah, the sequence is. Uh, uh, you, in the beginning, you just uh, copy what I do, uh, but there is uh, the rule. Uh, the rule is from uh, left to right, right. Uh, and then uh, from uh, top down. Uh, you, you, in this case, you only need to to know this two. Uh, if you have other words, it might be from uh, outside in or, or something like that. But uh, mm -hmm. for this character, from left to right, from top yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. uh, but in in painting, <laughs> it's from bottom up. Yeah. However, I do have uh, not like a Cantonese school uh, painting. They they do this. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay, but um, usually my um, my advice is to follow yeah. the gesture of the growth of nat natural uh, plant or, or, or tree because uh, mm -hmm. the tree or the bamboo grows this way. Yeah. So we yeah. follow that. Um, yeah, yeah we, f we follow the 
the, the way it grows. Okay, An <laughs> another. Um, Not yeah, another another uh, very important uh, uh, difference I think is that. Uh, uh, like if you use a, a flat brush, right? Uh, yeah, you. Uh, the stroke is much longer than what this is designed for. So this yeah. this brush does not hold enough uh, yeah. moisture to complete that whole stock. You have yeah. to reload it. Yeah, that's a problem. I, I bought from you only, so therefore that is a Chinese brush. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm using Chinese spice. So the difference between this is uh, not only the shape, but also yeah. the capacity of uh, uh, moisture uh, loading. Okay. Loading, yeah. Because if, if I do this, uh, it might dry too soon. But uh, maybe not, because this doesn't really absorb much. But if you use, right, you see, I start to see uh, dry yeah. brush work. So if you if you use a flat brush, flat brush for the stock, it's, it's okay, um, but uh, the, the principle is the same. You hold the brush like the Chinese way, okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, use your arm, not just the finger or wrist. Yeah. This is like, like, like that. You cannot do long stroke just with, the, with, the, with this much. You have to uh, see my arm. Can you see my arm? When I, when I do long stroke, I will stand and I, I put my hand Ahead of the, okay, my my uh, handle is pointing to the direction where it moves, not like this, not like this, not yeah. like this. Most people, most uh, American or Western teacher will teach you to do bamboo like that. Yeah, that's wrong. You cannot even do it with a flat brush like like yeah, that. Yeah, but I hold the way that you said because I'm trained in the Western one. Yeah, the Western. Uh, okay, the even the Chinese one. Um, don't do this because it's very difficult to control the width. Yeah. Control the width of that. You see this kind of thing very often. So they start yeah. with a, like a blob and then just become narrow. And then that, 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 that part's missing is a weak yeah. show of weakness and no control. The yeah. correct way of doing that is to, to put the brush like this and mm -hmm. pull the brush, pull, yeah. pull, pouring, yeah. like this, not a side brush. The, mm -hmm. This is a side brush. This is a side mm -hmm. brush, not like this, not like this. Um, I, I see most most amateur uh, artists. Uh, they, I don't know. They may read in books. They use the heel to paint like this. It looks powerful, but no, everybody, a child can do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In other words, the movement uh, should be in the direction in which it is progressing, not the other way. Uh, can you repeat your question, please? Yeah. The, the brush movement should be in the direction where it is moving up, but not the direction in which it is not going and go. Uh, I think that you're right. The the point of the the yeah, the, the, the the apex of the brush. Yeah, the the be, pointing to the direction the, you the, move. The, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Like, like this, pointing to the direction. It could be a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, um, you know, like a uh, on the side, but uh, not. Uh, not too much. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah like, so the point is to keep the brush uh, brush tip tip in the center tip centered it must be balanced on both sides as much as possible yeah the, if you write a write down this this is a tip centered stroke okay tip in the, i will explain whether i understood correct mm -hmm. there is a width of the brush that you paint in the tissue the width of it the center of it towards that center only that end the other end of the brush should be there yeah yeah. The direction must be there. Yeah, so the direction there. is where the handle, uh, yeah. the other side, the the point, the hand, the the end of the handle pointing to. Yeah. 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 So you, yeah. you you always pull pull the brush. It's much easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's much easier, and it's uh, easier to keep the brush um, in same width. So the because the bamboo do not vary in 
the width that much. It does vary in the um, length of it. You see, in the in the near the root of the bamboo, it it uh, it's narrower and getting longer and longer. Uh, okay. Because it's difficult when it goes to this to this point, and you have to be aware of that to correct that. You need to um, use your arm, use your your shoulder to to. Uh, so you, if you can draw this line, you must use your elbows. See, yeah. you, you have if you if you do not move, move your elbow, you can only do this much, and you become like that, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to you have to use your arm, and um, not only your arm. Your body, your 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 um, back, yeah. and your leg should be uh, leveled. Mm -hmm. Your your feet should be leveled. Yeah. Uh, so you can mobilize your energy from uh, your stomach all the way oh. to shoulder and deliver that to the fingertips. Hand. Yeah. So the, the the handle of the brush. That's that's right. Um, I. I I can see you have pretty good start on your practice. Let me now let, let's let's try to give you some uh, uh, suggestions if I can go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I have a couple of questions, Henry. Yes. You could use either this brush or the flat brush. Both are okay for bamboo, right? Am I right to say that? Both uh, flat or the Chinese brush to do bamboo. Yeah. Uh, you can use the flat one for bamboo stock okay. if you feel comfortable, like you did this with oil brush right yeah. here. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, as long as you can simulate that. Uh, um, I, I think for this one, you don't have to uh, do exactly the same. Uh, just try to vary. That. Like here, I, I, I mentioned. So this 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 distance is is not equal. If you have all this the same, uh, yeah. it, it getting longer, longer, uh, and then also narrower. But it's yeah. kind of difficult to control the width. Maybe uh, I I try maybe at an angle. So you can use the chisel side. Mm -hmm. Use the chisel side gradually. Let's see, see. Uh, you know, even with the oil brush, you can still. You see, the trick is I use my finger movement here, so I can adjust the angle in the middle of the stroke. You see, that's why you need to hold the oil brush, the flat brush, the Chinese way, so you can do the same thing like I'm doing here. I start with a, this. This is flat, right? This is the widest, and then at the next next section. I twig, I twist the brush a little bit. See, my 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 middle finger pulls in a little bit, or my thumb roll a little bit. So that gives a little bit, and then I can shift it back this way. See, I did this. Can you see my road rotation there? Not, uh, I rotated the side. So I do this on this side, oh, and then I get a smaller space to uh, to. Yeah, so if you hold the brush this way, you can do this. You can see, you, I do it fast, and then I can, I can do it in the middle of the movement also. So it, it, I, can, I can make it narrow. I can just roll. You can see I, I made a roll, and I, I turn the back. I, I roll, and I, so it twists in the middle. You see yeah. the, the twisting? I try to exaggerate, but it might be not good uh, if I don't consider um, what the what? If I just uh, do this, you know, I, I I can make this kind of. Can you do stroke like this? Yeah. With the with the oil paint painters movement, you can only do very stupid. I'm not uh, sorry, very dull stroke. Not a not a very interesting stroke. They can only do this is Van Gogh brush stroke. Maybe Van Gogh does. But Van Gogh can if Van Gogh can do this, can you imagine? His his painting would be much much dynamic, right? Yeah, yeah. But Van Gogh doesn't doesn't hold the brush like this. He holds yeah. the brush more like this. He, so he can just do this. Yeah. yeah. We. Uh, maybe I have one one point here. Yeah. Now in one of these uh, sketches that you did, uh, the one block of the bamboo 
must kill her and then is again increase the weight. But that doesn't happen in real Guru Prasad because it either comes big and then goes small. But it never the other way that it is small and then goes big. Yeah, yeah, you have to follow the natural yeah. law. That's, yeah. that's right. Okay. So when you turn the brush for the big uh, rejection, you must only gradually you can turn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't have sudden change. The sudden change is the same uh, mistake we, we if we use the side of the brush, if you can control the pressure, you can you can still do it. Uh, but uh, um, aesthetically, I just don't like the uh, the brush stroke like like that. So the yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, if you have control, you can still do it in sideways. See, I, I hold the brush at the slant position, yeah. but I'm careful. But it's kind of hard to see. I missed the little part there. Um, so you can still make it even. Yeah. You but can in this case, when you are moving, you are not keeping that rule, uh, Henry, because your uh, bamboo is on this side, laterally. Yeah, so bamboo, you know, okay. It must be straight this way. Yeah, the bamboo is, is a round, uh, it's like a tube. So you have yeah. to keep it, the fields around it. If, yeah. you, if you do a leaf, the leaf is flat, that's okay. So if you use the side brush to do the leaf, so next yeah. practice, what we can do the side. However, yeah. I, uh, you can see in my calligraphy, yeah. uh, I prefer, I prefer uh, aesthetically, the tip stays in the middle. So instead of doing this, I do this. Yeah. Yeah. See? This is the difference. This one this is the side brush, which means uh, the tip of the brush uh, is on this side. Yeah. It's, this tip is in the middle. Yes, uh, I see that. Tip comes still. Both so, are leaves, right? Both yeah. Leaves. Okay, the reason we do this, there's a reason, okay. Suppose, um, are you familiar with uh, uh, a mop? Uh, you know, how to, the dynamic of using a mop? And see, if I try to clean a spot, I always go like a, uh, like this, right? You you kind of like that, and you cannot just mop in like a like you 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 don't you don't poke the mark like that. So you always wrap the the you can you see you you wrap it like that. See, the tip is hidden behind, right? It, it, you you pull it instead of pushing the mark. Anybody uh, mop? Have you seen any uh, any uh, anybody use the mop like that? No, right? So the yeah. same thing is it's like using a mop. Yeah. So if you use the mop correctly, you do it like that. You, you hide the tip, right? Yeah. Or you, you you go you can go like that. Yeah. And this is a could give you a. a, a a solid uh, wash. If you if you, you solid wash in, in an yeah. But if you if you pull if you push if you push your, your I, I cannot do it. <laughs> yeah. Simply you cannot no. So no pushing. Yeah. No pushing. No you pushing. Like yes, uh, yeah. Pull. Yeah. Pull the brush. Yeah. Pull the brush. But uh, before you pouring, this is how I do it. So. If you pull it like that, so you miss something in the beginning, right? To have a, a, a solid beginning, you go yeah. like this. You pull the opposite. You pull the opposite, and then change direction. You can twist it, and then pull, and then go. See, twist. Uh, you, when you make a direction change, yeah. So the other rule is when you make a directional change, pause, and the, and twist, uh, change uh, to change the tip of the uh, change the Direction of the tip, so you need yeah. to hide tucking the the tip all all the time. So uh, let's let's do some uh, ink. I think that's enough to practice this on magic paper uh, on daily basis until you yeah. get um, familiar with the brush. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you you can you can you can draw uh, not not just the straight lines. You can try. Uh, we can do the bamboo leaves also next. Yeah, we, we can use ink. Okay. Yeah. I need one, one uh, very important one which I want to ask you. Now, uh, I am limiting it only this kind of uh, uh, magic paper actually, but you told me something about uh, the grid which, which I can get help. You said there is a, there is a guide for it. 
uh, which I can buy, you said. You remember earlier in your conversation. The I didn't get the question. There is something like a guy which you can which can help me to keep it in the dress. Oh, great, great. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, there are, there are three different uh, magic class we sell. Uh, one is plan, another is grid, gridded, G, G, R, uh, gridded, right? It has the grid, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 give, it gives you, when you practice the calligraphy, it gives you the square and the, the uh, so you can see, um, you, it helps you to position it, the, the strokes. And then also, uh, we have a one with a better, you know, than grids. We have the stroke guide. So you can practice the stroke guide to give you outline. So like, like uh, when we uh, learn bamboo, we don't just uh, do it like, uh, like, like this. We, we, we need to have a guide to begin with. That's, you can draw this guide um, yourself. You know, just just like that. It's an outlined stroke guide. And then yeah. when you practice, uh, you can, you know, <laughs> sometimes when I practice certain things like a, a, a fish tail, I, I draw this shape with, uh, just on the uh, on the magic cards with a, a ball pen or, you know, waterproof, uh, some, 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 any any pen. And then you can just practice like, a, like they try to fill in that, uh, Feeling that, yeah. yeah, feeling that you can miss some, but uh, gradually you'll get closer to that. It could go beyond, uh, yeah. so that's very important. You can draw the shape you, uh, of a bamboo leaf groove on your magic cards, uh, and then you can do the drills. But uh, yeah. you can also just uh, um, paint in, in front of the the guide in, in front of with the with the set the model in front of you so you don't have to put on the paper but for kids for like a primary school kids mm -hmm. when they learn they yeah they have this kind of a, a stroke guide it's outlined so they will do this on a daily basis in, in the, the homework is like this mm -hmm. it's like that so the, yeah the, it, it has this a stroke guide it's outlined stroke guide it, it has that shape and then you have to kind of try mm -hmm. Try to do this, yeah. But actually, feeling should be one stroke, one 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 shot, isn't it? Yeah, it, in every uh, stroke, it, you cannot you, you cannot uh, you cannot do something like that. You have to do it like that. Uh, so, if you hold it like a, like right now, I try uh, I try to hold it like a yeah. like a pencil. You can still do it, but it's mm -hmm. it's not uh, fully controlled. Because uh, yeah. uh, with all five fingers, like I showed you earlier, you you it, it, it's proven to to be the most uh, uh, flexible and the most con uh, controlled way of holding the brush. Uh, because the the difference between uh, this and this, this bristle brush doesn't really vary the shape. Yeah. Uh, this one has um, you can. You, you know, for this one, you can only go this or, or that, yeah, two directions, right? The, the, either the flat or the chisel. And this one, you can vary the pressure. You can, you can do from very fine to very heavy strokes like that, right? So you can, you can, you can, you can um, virtually do every shape in one stroke, in one stroke, yeah. Like uh, if you do a square, or like like if how do you do a, a triangle? You know, like a, like this. I, the other day I showed people how to do this. Um, you can you can do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I I think if you could do a like like a half half circle, mm -hmm. half circle. How you do this? I can do this in one stroke. And the point is, you you have to. Be aware that the tip is along the, the bottom line, and so see if I, if I, I can do it without a stroke guide, do a half circle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the, if you, you could do. Leaf also, you do the same trick on the other side, right? When you make a leaf. Uh, the yeah, you can do the the half circle this way. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a, it's a, if you could do a top circle, you can do any shape. Um, yeah. So you can practice the half circle. Uh, this one too difficult, maybe, but uh, you can change it to uh, like a, like a, like a this this yeah. shape, like like a little, uh, and then you can do try you know try try to do that. Anyway, try to fill in a shape with the. But you can see the the maximum is the 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 height of this brush, so you cannot really do uh, more than that. So yeah, you can you can fill in that shape right there, right? So when I paint in watercolor, I do the same thing. When I was in the class, I was supposed to do like a flying flag in the sky or something like that. I, I just do it like that. So um, and people um, people will say, oh, wow, you can do that. Yeah, because we learned this uh, from our childhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, there are two, two issues. Um, uh, all this. Uh, they all get related to finally the calligraphy only get represented as art finally. The what is friendly? This brush is the calligraphy and the painting. No, the painting strokes are all related to calligraphy also, right? Uh, actually, the uh, uh, the other way because uh, if you uh, look at uh, the origin of the Chinese uh, characters, uh, mm -hmm. it it starts like a little painting. And then uh, it become more abstract and uh, become uh, standardized. Uh, let me show you the, the, the a little bit of history. Uh, so it, I can show you a, a, a diagram. So that that um, okay, this one uh, the evolution of uh, Chinese calligraphy uh, mm -hmm. uh, for for this for this uh, bamboo character mm -hmm. on, on the actually there is a. There's older form. This this is seal script. The first one is called seal script. Uh, mm -hmm. This is this is uh, already standardized. Mm -hmm. The the original seal script or oracle, oracle bone style is more like this. Yeah, it's more. It has the uh, variation. In, it's more like picture. It's more, mm -hmm. more like this. This would be the the first uh, like bamboo leaves, right? And then uh, it become. Uh, uh, when they carved this uh, cast on bronze, they they, they made it uh, because they they use a wire or something to 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 as a for the stroke when cast, you know, a, a golden wire or something. So this this become even even uh, line. So from from this uh, this shape to become this. This yeah. is the the first. Uh, uh, Written language uh, unified uh, in unified uh, empire of China. Uh, mm -hmm. They used this script for official uh, documents uh, or you know on on scale ways that kind of uh, things. Uh, mm -hmm. And on, on and then later it, we have this clerical style in the Han Dynasty. Uh, it's written on bamboo on bamboo uh, strip. There's no paper. So you can see uh, it, it goes more like this. Um, this kind of uh, this is kind of flat, flat. Uh, it's written on a bamboo strip, very narrow, just just about this this uh, one inch also. So they write like that on the bamboo strip, and then uh, put together in a roll like a, a book is a road. You know that, that that's the earliest uh, form of uh, uh, bamboo. Uh, not paper, bamboo book. So it's a, it's a bamboo book style. And uh, uh, later they use pa they have paper. So they, they they write also you know like faster. And then uh, from the faster um, cursive style, it become again standardized. So that's the print we we just learned. The the five. And then from this, it it developed into. The signature style or cursive style like that, something mm -hmm. more more in, in one stroke, something like that. And like is there this. any size size specification like font that you have in English, like uh, saying this is font number five six and so on, so that the sizes are balanced? Is there any font size? Uh, okay, good. Uh, uh, the the all the size, even uh, only one stroke. It, it must be the same size, uh, oh. li like a square. 
So the Chinese characters are all square. If you, yeah. if you write the character for one like that, you, you, you have to take the, the whole space. Yeah. The whole space. Yeah. So uh, even uh, another, uh, like a two strokes, this is a, another, like a people. This, this, this character means people. <laughs> it also uh, just two stroke, but it takes the whole square. That's why the grid is uh, the grid is is all, always a square. Yeah. yeah. And equal, they are all equal generally. Yeah, equal squares, equal squares. So the space between the characters um, are the same. Yeah. Are, 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 are the same. Uh, if you're interested in this, I can show you some other uh, characters here. Uh, it, uh, look at your penny. So you already applied the character for bamboo, you know, like a, like that. So uh, after this lesson, you you will improve your stroke better. But your structure is good. Yeah, yeah. Your 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 middle your middle stroke need to um, need to lift at the end. So you give the a pointed. Uh, uh, this one this one is good. Silence. I'm not getting regularly. Yeah. But one thing, uh, the spontaneity is that, uh, very important, I think, because when you do yeah. this is spontaneity, yeah. then it, it spontaneity is the same. Yeah, the, the, uh, the joints, I will show you how to do the joints. Uh, yeah. if, if, if you, uh, I, I will use ink to show you. So uh, the characters, I think you bought the bamboo, the sim simple, uh, you, can, you can use that to book, the ebook you bought, uh, before the bamboo, this book for for purchasing the the, the uh, bamboo bamboo leaves, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, you can use this. So some uh, some characters is like three stroke, some like a five. You can yeah. see uh, the five strokes like this character, and uh, uh, it's uh, this is another four. See this yeah. character has a four stroke. So this uh, this is all here. It's it's a um, in this book. Uh, are we, that book can it buy? Is that possible? You, I think you bought this uh, book uh, on our website. The ebook. Did you? The, oh, that's a possible book. Yes. The, yes. the downloadable, downloadable. Yeah, that's the class. If you want, we can go into that book. Okay. okay. I, the yeah. I, I'm going to to paint a complete painting, so you can try to copy after the class. Okay. <laughs> And then uh, one more question uh, in this. These brushes, with these uh, techniques, can you also use on Western paper uh, the, those strokes for making... Uh, yeah, you can use any paper for stroke practice. Um, the Western paper may be too expensive for doing practice. The, yeah. the drawing paper is fine. Yeah, the newsprint is fine. Yeah. You, you, can use, uh, you can use that, right. Yeah, the magic cost is uh, is uh, the best without uh, wasting any. So the, all these techniques can be uh, employed in the Western system also. Um, if you use the Western paper, I think a drawing paper or some like a hot press watercolor is good because we don't like the the bump, the the teeth in the in the surface. It's much softer uh, for for us for Chinese brush because of the the stroke is supposed to be uh, very sensitive to the. It, it has its own texture, but uh, not. The, we don't like the paper texture. We don't like the the coarse surface. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do a painting for you. Uh, look at the painting behind me. Let me show you. An early work. Yeah. Uh, early work. I tried to do this one. So this is a this is a, a painting I, I did in a class many years ago in uh, in in Seattle. Uh, so I'm going to copy. I'm not copy. Try to uh, to do this. Uh, yeah. First of all, you you can you can you can you, can you, can you read? Uh, uh, try to guess where I do uh, started. I uh, I can tell you. I started from the two stalks, the, the trunk, uh, the, the stems, and the main stems, and then the, um, the leaves. I added, mm -hmm. the, I added the twigs afterwards. Mm -hmm. You could also do that 
the tricks uh, before the leaves, but I, I think I did the, the leaves first and then used the uh, tip of the brush to add it. The, but uh, you do need to keep the leaves uh, grouped together so uh, they're not scattered anywhere. So then you cannot really connect them. So you, have, you must connect them even without uh, doing the tricks first. Okay. Okay. So uh, after, uh, it, it, I try to memorize it myself, although I did it, it was like uh, 30 years ago, something like that. It's very yeah. nice and really stylish. Thank you. So I'm not going to look at this. I, I just told you. I, okay, let me show you. Uh, One question, Jack. What is this, uh, this cloth? I don't know. Oh, the, okay. This is the, the grid. It's a... Uh, uh, you can put it in, in place of this one, it, because the rice paper, uh, you... This is the back of the rice paper. No, yeah, it put it on the table, and you, it will show through. So you have the grid, that's good. You don't have to buy the grid, uh, yeah. grid uh, magic class. Uh, yeah. You can start writing the, the calligraphy. I'll send you the, the samples after the class. Okay. Uh, all, all the samples you have seen here, like this bamboo. Um, I, I'm not sure, you don't have to read them, just to treat them as your first stroke guide, the first stroke practice. So you don't have, uh, the, you know this is bamboo, I changed it, but the, the other, the meaning of the other characters are, are you know, like a people, it, it doesn't um, matter, you, as long as you can, you can do the strokes, it will help, yeah, like this. So um, I'm going to close this. Yeah. Okay. And then, and any, if you need any clarification at some point, I can ask tell you a mail and then you can just clarify one or two points, small points if you have. Uh -huh. Is it possible? What, what's the question you have? No, no, if there is a point, practicing, if they have any small little doubt here and there sometime, occasionally I can ask for it. Uh, I'm sorry. I. I are you, uh, are you saying you, you can ask my ask me questions? Okay. One or two questions here and there. Occasionally, when there is a doubt, and then I can't wait for the next class if you want to proceed. Oh, you can go to my online class. You can ask questions in my online class regularly. Uh, you oh. can, yeah. I I'll send you the. Membership, right? That's a different membership. Right? Yeah, it's a membership uh, subscription for ten dollar per month. So I'm I'm there always to answer your questions anytime. Oh, I yeah. See. I will check in that. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to <laughs> wait for the next uh, private lesson to do yeah. that. Okay. So well, anyway, I think some at some point private lesson is again necessary once I come to the next stage actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, let let me just finish this before we we um, um, conclude this lesson. Yeah. All right. So I, I just put a little uh, ink from the bottled ink. The best is the grinding ink, but I think you, you got the ink cake. That would be also fine. Uh, I, I don't know how to make the ink. I let only... Uh, 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 ink cake. The, the, the solid ink. Yeah, yeah. The, there's a... Uh, let me see if I have that ink cake. I don't have any hand here. So it's like a watercolor half pants, like a, like the solid ink, right? You just uh, brush it off with water. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. but basically it's the same. So uh, it, first of all, you, you do something like this. So you, you put the ink on the uh, on one side of the plate and then pull it. So you got a gradation, right? And then you load the brush with a uh, very pale brush, uh, pale ink on the whole brush. Okay, and then uh, load the tip of the brush with a little bit dark, yeah, a little bit dark like that, and and uh, let it blend a little bit, but not too much. So the the tip of the brush is darker, right? Yeah. Okay. You you start from uh, outside the frame. Don't leave a gap there. Don't leave a gap uh, at the edge, so you don't start inside the paper. You start outside the paper and start doing section one of the, the first chunk and then just uh, gradually increase that in the diagonal movement. You can make a curve uh, between, between each section, but uh, keep it straight. I think you yeah. did it right. You, you know that. Yeah. So just like that. 
Um, the brush, the ink looks too pale. <laughs> Let me just add a little bit. You cannot go back. You can yeah. add it after it, it dries a little bit. You can add a, add a shading or something. But don't don't worry about that. Just uh, so, so this is a hook kind of, and then yeah. hide the tip. Pull the brush up, and then pass and kick to the left. Yeah. Con very controlled way. You you kind of pass in the air, right? And you can make another, make a little a, lot, a, a little bit more ink if needed. Yeah. But not it's not to, not reload the, the whole thing. Just a, a little bit to tip, and then uh, kind of blend a little bit. Just blend a little bit, so it's not. Uh, very dark okay mm -hmm. and then you uh you don't have to touch you can leave a gap and then we'll fill in that with uh, what they call the the joint the knot okay this section uh roughly the same of um, this could be a little longer but a little narrower maybe so you see um i kind of hide the brush get us like that then go pause kick just continue. You don't have to no, lift it. If the if you you have enough ink, you don't have to reload. And here is another thing very important. Uh, you can use some uh, wasted paper. I don't have it in hand. I have to grab the one. But can you re paint on it after some time? Okay. I I I I I want to use a tissue to uh, blot it before it smear. Yeah. Okay, this is very important step. So it will it will keep smearing because of the water in the stroke you keep uh, expanding, and you can it's not it's go. It's always done. It's always done. Uh, hold on, I I can go back to add a little bit. Dark, use dry brush, you know, kind of just to add a little, little. But uh, try not not to do. If you're not experienced, you you, you don't have to do this. But uh, this will kind of make up a little bit. Uh, to, yeah. Okay. The the second uh, stock is on the on this side, right? Going a little bit at an angle, so they're not parallel. Also, I vary the I vary the the thickness yeah. uh, and and vary the level of this uh, joint. So students yeah. tend to do all the joints at the same level. That's not good. So I, the first stop will be here. Mm. You can you can make a stop like that, and then and then you you'll be fine, you know. And mm. try try not to do parallel. So it goes uh, goes a, a little bit more straight. And now I I I you can dry the brush, dry the brush, bottom of the brush, dry, hold the the popular towel, towel, and then. Uh, Load the dark ink to do the 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 uh, uh, this this part is a little bit uh, tricky. I think you did it uh, maybe too many strokes. Just mm -hmm. do uh, one stroke with uh, uh, in this shape a dot, and then a little curve, and then dot yeah. kind of like that. So uh, a, tr a little triangular shape. And then you can just cross that, and send something like that. It goes in the opposite direction, right? Yeah, you can. If it's too wet, you can just do it like that, without uh, uh, too much. You can you can just add a little a little stroke that like that. Uh, you can make it continuous like uh, like that, or you can you can have a uh, separate. It. Let me uh, on this on the smaller bamboo. Actually, I do it uh, uh, like that. So it's. Uh, the joint is a little um, squared, you know, or bigger than the 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 the, uh, the, 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 the stem's width, right? It's not narrower. So this is this joint is uh, it's always uh, wider. Okay. Um, so this knot, we consider this like a little uh, sprouts or something. It's it's a knob, knot. Yeah. Okay, knots, knots, yeah. So I'm going no. to do the, the, the leaf. The leaf should be 
uh, in the beginning, you don't have to worry too much about the ink tones. Just use dark ink. Uh, maybe medium dark it would be good. Let me show you. Not the pure ink, maybe. So I got. Uh, um, but you don't have to load the brush all the all the way. You maybe half of the brush. Or, uh, you, if the brush is small, you can use uh, less. I mean, you use more ink uh, because you, you you need to have the dark leaves in dark, um, and then light inks in light. So that's basically um, it should be. So I I'm, I'm going to load the. It's basically a, a, a uh, not the darkest dark, maybe maybe eight in the scale of one to ten, maybe eight, and then you can you can use a little pure ink to the tip. Still, there's a variation, and the bottom is still water, so it's about one third. This brush is a, we we call it a, a go-to brush. <laughs> it's all functional brush. It has a very long bristle. For this large painting, I need that. So I'm going to do the main leaf uh, on this corner, maybe here. Mm -hmm. So just like writing the, the calligraphy, yeah. one, uh, you, you don't have to avoid the, the stroke on this, just cover it, two, okay. And then this one, this these two touches, right? Yeah. Overlap a little bit. This one could be a little separate, but you can have a little, like a little stem or something to connect them. But you don't have to do this kind of thing, but this is, uh, you could also add it as a, as a, uh, a trick later. Yeah. yeah, it's something like that. You know, that's a, that's a classic, a classic way of doing this. And then um, I, I would uh, combine two, so you can add a little bit gray, dark gray, but not as dark as this. Um, so this is the second one. It could be higher, could be lower. Let's just do lower, let's see. And we can combine this two on this side, maybe, and, uh, and make that a little narrower, right? Yeah. And then um, a third group, we can just add water. I just put uh, some water, and, yeah. and it, will, it will be lighter. Even. So this time, um, you can do it uh, from uh, uh, something like that, from outside the frame. Outside of the frame. I'm sorry. The the my 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 calligraphy covers that. Yeah. Now you can see. So I I, I do it. I started outside of the frame here. I break that yeah. line. So it suggests more. Uh, you can you can add a few strokes. Oh, that's a link. Is it? That's a chain. That's a link. Uh, you mean this? This stroke, yeah. I just add some minor stroke. I call it minor stroke. This is major stroke. Minor yeah. stroke is like like that. You you can you can you can just add uh, with lines, not necessarily in in the bamboo uh, realistic shape, because they they might be just a little little tweaks like that. Yeah. Yeah. So these tweaks also have little joints, um, but. Because I do it afterwards, you don't have to make it clear, or you know, behind the leaves. So basically, you, you just you can just fill in a little blank, but don't over define things. You know, you have the the most important is the um, the idea. If the, the you already convey the idea the, uh, of bamboo, you don't have to. You can leave absence of a stroke. Okay. Yeah, that's very suggestively. Very suggestive. You may just do like a seventy percent or uh, even fifty percent of what you, uh, your logic mind tell you to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I added a little more ink and maybe a little more water to to dilute it down a little bit, and then a little bit dark maybe to the tip still. So the second groove it goes um, crossing this line. It's still in the front of that. If the, if it's too wet, you can wait a little bit. I use my hand to fill it, and also my palm. The temperature will help to uh, dry a little bit. Yeah, so it will help to dry it. 
a little bit. Um, you can use leaves to cover where you think um, there's an error <laughs> or, or a problem. Like this is too dark, yeah. right? I can cover it with leaf, right? So it that's a um, but don't do it uh, when the when the stroke is too wet. You will make it a, a blob. So you want to you want to dry a little bit, but not completely dry. If it's completely dry, it will be too stiff, not natural. So I just kind of like that cover it up. And you you do faster on on this part. Or sometimes it, it didn't work. You know, you, you, you make it worse. That could yeah. that could happen. Um, it looks blurred now, actually. Yeah, and then you can blot it. This is this is what you can learn from me, my mistakes. So this is still too wet. Oh, well, I shouldn't do it when you know. And sometimes it's good to ignore that and just concentrate on other part. If you try to fix the problem, it usually makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the. The, uh, that's always what happens. But uh, once a mistake is done, the printing is gone, right? Yeah, but uh, try, try to just finish the other part. Don't yeah. don't don't uh, don't don't uh, try too hard to correct the the, the problem. But sometimes when you have a, a better painting uh, on the rest of uh, the paper. Usually you save that. You you will save it. You save the mistake. So the people will will make will think that's a beautiful mistake. Yeah. You see. Uh, yeah. Now I I just concentrate on on my uh, my other part of the painting. So you you can add a little more uh, branches maybe to. To, uh, okay, uh, you can also start to think. Oh, I'm going to make it uh, into a, a, a like a raining uh, bamboo after rain in storm or something. And you can start to introduce uh, some natural forces to when you paint a raining bamboo. Yeah. It has to be like that, right? So it it doesn't. You don't have to copy the the, the painting I, I I did because every time. Uh, there's some some happy accident, I hope. So it, it makes the painting unique. So now I have a major group. I want to create a balance uh, and with some uh, minor groups. So, but they they have some kind of um, connection. So it, it like a like you know, this like looking down or something. Uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, this group is small. This is then we may need a medium. Yeah. Um, and look at the whole shape, not just the individual strokes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Let's see. You can see. Look at my painting there. So I, I see on, on this painting, I have more leaves here. Um, yeah, but if I do that, I will add uh, like a behind. How do, yeah. the dark is in the front in Chinese yeah. brush painting, because they are more defined, definitive, and the more uh, weight, more, more detail. So when I do back, I, 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 I wash the brush, and I dipped a little water to the front, so my oh. my brush, my brush is very light. No, yeah. I can even add more water. I think okay. Now I'm going to do some some um, very pale leaves to suggest the leaves behind. So I have dark, light, and gray, all the different uh, tonalities, right? Because then I look at the distance. Yeah, it looks like the distance of, of, of background, yeah. like a background, yeah. And then I can add a little background on, on this side. 
and you can add. so I I'm concerned with the shape of the yeah. Technically, go to the cool colors on the back side. Yeah, the cooler color. This is a, uh, this is doesn't have to do with uh, the temperature, but uh, the tonality or uh, yeah. the value. In, in Western thinking, uh, the light is uh, in the front because the light <laughs> because of the light. Yeah. Uh, what we <coughs> in in the Eastern painting, uh, we consider the the inspiration of this uh, black bamboo or mm. ink bamboo is from the cast shadow uh, on the window, on the paper window uh, mm. in, in the moonlight. Or, um, so if, imagine if I put a, um, a bamboo leaf under my lamp, you will see a cast shadow. That's what uh, the profile or the silhouette. The mm. silhouette is the, the idea. Where, where the bamboo come, the idea comes from. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's the the bamboo. Okay, I'm gonna write this character for you, so you yeah. can copy this. Uh, just put a bamboo. You are going to write bamboo? Huh? You are going to write uh, your name? Oh, I can write um, raining bamboo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that that will make sense. Uh, Okay, so because I got the splurs, I just yeah, put yeah, I justify yeah. that by putting another word for the for the rain. So this is a new word I'm going to write. <laughs> this is uh, the word um, for rain. And this is longer. Okay. I I tend yeah I I tend to write the. This top part first. Actually, you do the left part, and then the, the, the right part. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. OK, sorry, I, I made uh, another mistake. In this case, we don't really <laughs> write that much. Um, yeah, so but raining bamboo. Even my, my stroke gets, gets uh, like a lot of rain in it, like yeah. dripping. So that's, uh, that's good. And I put uh, my name. Raining, rain, raining bamboo. Water came on the signature also. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the feeling is uh, like that. And then uh, I put my seal. Where's the? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the the uh, name seal must uh, be same as the signature size. So usually the signature on on uh, flower and birds or plants. Painting are larger than landscape. On landscape, we do very tiny signature to uh, keep the scale and the, the scenery correct. On, on uh, bamboo, on, on flower painting, we also try to maintain the life size. Even the paper is small, we still yeah. do this. Uh, uh, feels like the, still the the. Uh, Natural size of the bamboo, so the the character is is a little bigger to match that. And now you have the raining raining bamboo. Hopefully, it, it, to to inspire you to do. So yeah, so uh, when you when you do the leaves, just use either dark or light. Don't try to like many beginners. They try to make a Dark and light on every stroke, like everywhere you uh, you don't you don't have to use light, very light for dry light for the stock, so not too wet. Uh, so give a little bit even some dry brush stroke is preferred. The bristle bristle look gives the power to that uh, the the quality of the bamboo stock. And this is a little bit too wet, but it's okay because it's rainy. 
So uh, a little bit wet is, is fine. It gives a more moisture feel. It's like uh, you can put a, a little, you know, like a drop of water or something. And sometimes to, to, to suggest that feel, but not, not realistically, just a little bit uh, something like that. If you have that kind of feel, uh, it, will, it will be expressed in your stroke. So even yeah. without uh, um, like a realistic rendering of light, um, you can still convey your feeling of uh, season, uh, weather, all the natural forces. Uh, even light, you know, you can you can feel like uh, the, it's like a uh, backlit, right? Yeah. Backlit uh, uh, photography. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's all for for today. I hope you uh, Thank like. Thank you very much, uh, Andy. Uh -huh. I really appreciate uh, your coming in. So I think uh, I'll work on it and then uh, try to consolidate myself further. Now I know how to make a class with you. Now. Yeah, you can you can t you can join my online class to ask okay. questions um, anytime. I, I'll so I'll send you. The regular class is uh, pre-recorded, so you 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 um, learn at your own pace. Uh, you can you can learn more or less in in a week. Uh, Twenty-four by seven is all available. So uh, I have students from all over the world. In, in that class. The problem I saw was that if, let's say, that after six months, if I stop, your video is also withdrawn. That's what you it says. That's on YouTube. Uh, I, I, I didn't get your question. You... After some time, let's say three, four months, I am also going to India on a holiday. Oh. Suppose if I, I don't continue for three months, four months, then what happens is I'm told that the YouTube will take go away for my. Oh, the, the YouTube uh, video is uh, it's, uh, not going to expire. It's, oh. it, it will not expire. I'll give you the recording and it will never expire. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah, it, you can take uh, as long as, uh, yeah, as long as YouTube lasts, yeah. I would say. So it's, a, it's, a, it's not non expire yeah. no limit. There no. are too many investments. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about. Uh, uh, okay that the, the the limitation of that so it's all okay so this is the um the unsized paper so it's very absorbent if you if you have that uh, you can use that uh, that's create more spontaneity so it's kind of hard to control but uh, um, you know don't forget about the, the uh, stiff shape the restrictive shape and uh, start to appreciate the natural, um, the blurry, the the, the uh, uncontrollable part, the imperfections, maybe, you know, yeah. yeah. Okay. I like the strokes, I like the effect of them coming out. Yeah. And the feel of it, I really enjoy it. But don't, yeah, don't try to repeat too much. If you try to fix uh, the mistake, it will make it worse. <laughs> uh, it's a appreciation of uh, the frankness. Uh, so all the Grandmasters in literary painting, the, the people who uh, are not professional artists, but uh, scholars like you, uh, amateurs, scholar amateur painting, they are not emphasized on the technical part, especially the uh, resemblance of real realistic uh, uh, objects, but mm -hmm. more uh, appreciate the, the uh, Accidental effect, you know, some kind of uh, interest of the ink yeah. and the stroke. The interest of ink and the stroke itself. Uh, it's like uh, seeing an uh, opera. Uh, the story, the what in the painting is already known to everybody. It's a bamboo. Uh, yeah. You know, you don't have to do a bamboo more like a real bamboo. Yeah. But the voice, the voice of the singer of the opera is. Uh, uh, Important, and you have to develop that by every every day uh, yeah. every day practice. Ah, oh, you know, to practice the unique voice. It's just like like your voice. So everybody's yeah. stroke is different, and uh, your previous training in oil will make it different than others. So yeah. anything you learned in the past will contribute to your. Yeah, you are right. Well, uh, only one second. One second, then. Yeah, 
Is it not a very large printing? Oh, it's, a, it's a not focused. Uh, it's blurry. I cannot. No, no, go, go back. Go back. Hmm. I don't know. Why, why is it just uh, like a mist? Uh, can you. Maybe it's because you have a background or something? It's all uh, like a, I see through a. <laughs> it's blurred. Blurred away. I think something is wrong with my. my yeah, mind. maybe you have a different uh, focus or different. I think so. it, it won't focus on your painting. It interesting. Oh, I think you you have a smart camera or something. It it just make your face clear, but everything else is into background. Yeah, yeah. I think you yeah. need to remove the background uh, it's, it's backdrop. Yeah. It could be borrowed it from this class. <laughs> yeah, you you can send me a picture by email. Oh, send you, it. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me let me yeah in in the email I'll send you the link so you can post anything everything on the online class for yeah. critiques or uh, sharing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that's all for today. I'll send a picture of this to you for your reference also and uh, the link to the recording uh, on YouTube. I didn't record it uh, on, on Zoom. That's fine. I think you don't need to watch yourself. Uh, you, you have my uh, uh, demo recorded on YouTube. I'm going to send you. Also, because I, I want to limit the access to my recording to only the members of the YouTube, it's a subscription of $3 per month, and you can access all the private lessons, including yours and others, okay? Mm -hmm. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel for $3, $2.99 per month, you, you, you get the recording, uh, well, access to I the recording. I yeah. yeah, because uh, uh, otherwise everybody can see it. I don't want to uh, share with general public, this is a kind of small class. So for yeah. members, they're, they're owning like uh, less than 20 right now. Yeah. Okay, people will, will, will access this. Most of them are... There's a promotion for this in yeah. your, your uh, website? The subscription is on YouTube. When you access this video, it will ask you to uh, join join the channel. Join, okay. yeah, join the channel for $3. And you, you have uh, unlimited access to all my member videos. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. 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 Let me add this. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye.